Hi everyone, it's Bonnie here, and I'd like to share with you another fabric album that I just finished creating. Um, this one is a little bit different than ones that I've done in the past. This is all um, just creams and white lace and trims um, embellishments, and um, they're all vintage inspired images that I, women images that I printed on fabric paper. Um, this is the binding. It's um, this beautiful trim that I found at Hobby Lobby. And these um, flowers here are all handmade and that's satin ribbon. And this one I put a bling in the center of it. And let's see. So we have some um, beautiful lace here and here that I just made little bows out of. And here I just placed a um, piece of an applique from a wedding dress on this side and then on that side. And then I framed her with this beautiful white, it's uh, kind of a stretchy lace and it's got iridescent sequins in it. And I have loose pearls all over and some mother of pearl buttons and just some of this um, pearl strand all the way around the frame. And here is, they look like leaves, but they were part of um, a curtain that I had cut up. And here's the other side. You could probably see it better here. So, um, and then I have this fun uh, trim here, and some of this, it's like uh, organza with pearl going through it, and then this beautiful um, trim up here too. Okay, so that's the first page, and then we go on to this one, and again, it's a, another lady, vintage inspired. Um, and I put all kinds of lace around her to, um, frame her in. And here's some, um, doilies here. And then I put more of the, that trim that looks like leaves sticking out with some more, um, isn't that beautiful? It's like super sheer, thin, um, lace. And then here is some rosette trims. And that is from Lavish Laces. Thank you, Jayzella. And then I have these um, buckles with the flat back pearls, and those are from Saw Crafters. And I have that trim again here with some um, ruffled ribbon or ruffled trim. Ruffled tray. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. <laughs> ruffled lace trim. So that's what that looks like. And then here I just have um, a beautiful doily runner. And here is the next page. Let me just pull it out so you can get a full view here. Okay. This beautiful flower here is from the wedding section at Hobby Lobby. And um, it's all fabric. And um, here's more of that trim up here that I used. Um, it's in a beautiful cream color and some um, beautiful crocheted lace here. And here's more of that trim from that wedding dress. The beautiful appliques that I cut out. And I have some pretty um, lace that goes around her. And then I have this little thin um, trim that I also put around. Here's some vintage buttons and I have loose pearls here and there and then I have this acrylic flower with these little um, like crystals in there and see the little heart crystal and I picked those up at Hobby Lobby and there's a do couple of doilies behind there and here's just another um, bow that I created and then I have this beautiful eyelet trim here and um, some more pretty pretty lace uh, trim there. Okay, and then the next page is tons of laces, and I made this beautiful um, flower here. 
out of doilies and laces. I put some flat back pearls there. And um here are more of those. These are they're just so cool. They just remind me of leaves. So I have those sticking out um, you know, as if this was the big flower with the leaves. And this is probably my favorite page. I love this image. So I made some um some tattered flowers here. And I have this really cool um beaded trim here that I cut out of um off of a uh, curtain. Let's see if I can get a closer look at it. So it looks like that. Okay. And again, I just put some loose pearls all over. There's some cheese cloth, some more of that um ruffle ribbon there. Ruffle trim. This um beautiful lace here is from Hobby Lobby okay and then the next page and then I have you know two layers of um, crocheted lace and then another another ruffled lace and then the next page is this one here um, I have this rosette flower here I have no idea where I got it but I put another buckle with a flat back pearl there some more of those um, mother of pearl buttons and then I have this um, it was a just a trim that I had gotten off of a cocktail dress and I had just had a little bit left so I placed that in back of the flower okay and then I have this beautiful trim here it's hard to tell because it's covered up but it looks like that and then I have this stunning it's um like that um, Chinese braid and I put it all around her and I put a couple of bows here with some of these thin um, laces and um, there's some more of those mother of pearl um, buttons there and some more of that fun trim at the bottom and then I have this here it was just in my stash left over from something and then here's the other side of that um, that runner. And here's the last page. I really like this one too. Um, I put more of that trim at the top. And then more of this. I have no idea what it's called. But um, it's pretty. It reminds me of a curtain. Then I put flat back pearls going across it. And more of that um, crochet trim here. And I use this beautiful, beautiful, like, rose um, lace around her to frame her. More of that dangle stuff at the bottom. And here's two more of those acrylic flowers with the bling and the little heart. I actually have that one upside down, but that's all right. And then I have these um, cute little thin laces that I made bows into, again, in another... Um, pearl flat back with a buckle okay so that's that page and then the back is just is just plain okay so that's what that looks like um i hope you like it this is um for sale and um i'll put the information below if you're interested um please private message me and um, thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.